and welcome to Chapman News Online, our show exclusive to YouTube. I'm Joan Park. And I'm Usman Mir. Here's what's going on in an underground orange. The Chapman Theatre Department is also launching a new play that opened Thursday in the Walmart Theatre. Emily Vala has the story. Spring may just be blossoming, but in the Chapman University Theatre Department, it's summertime. Playwright Charles Mee takes a deeper look at love and humanity in his play titled Summertime. It's a fun show, it's a comedy, and it's really, I think Charles Mee is trying to say that the complexities of relationships never end. It doesn't matter if it's in the summer or if it's in the wintertime. With a terrific cast and dynamic themes, Summertime is a show you won't want to miss. It really does a good job of getting to the core of just what it is to be in a relationship. And not just relationships as in like a romantic type, but relationships as friendships, marriages, lust. I mean, it really does a good job of exploring all the various aspects of love as we as humans know it. Summertime is now open through March 24th with shows at 7.30 p.m. Thursday through Saturday and a matinee performance Saturday, March 24th at 2 p.m. Reporting from the Walmart Theater, I'm Emily Villa, Chapman News. Chapman students can purchase tickets for $5 a half hour before the show and $20 for the general public. One dollar can't buy you much these days, but for lottery players, it can turn you into a millionaire. Excitement is building as the Mega Million jackpot reaches $200 million. Mega Millions is a national game with players all over California and 41 other states. There are smaller prizes available, but to win the jackpot, you must match all five numbers plus the Mega Number. The odds of winning the pot are 1 in 176 million. The largest pot to be won in California in 2005 was when a group of co-workers from a Garden Grove Kaiser Permanent Medical Center split a $315 million prize. The biggest one in history was a March of 2007 at $390 million. Thai detergent thefts are on the loose. Law enforcement officials across the U.S. have been baffled by a crime wave targeting an unlikely item, Thai laundry detergent. The theft have become so rampant that several cities have set up special task forces to stop it, and retailers are taking security precautions to lock down the liquid. The detergent has quickly become a form of currency on the street and can go for $5 to $10 on the black market. While some thieves are reselling it to stores, the staple in households across socioeconomic classes is at a steady high price of $10 to $20 a bottle. Authorities say the Sudsy spree is likely part of a dirty drug trade. A recent drug sting in Maryland turned up more than Thai tan cocaines. A Newport Beach tradition may soon be no more. Over the objections of some residents, officials at the city of Newport Beach decided to snuff out some summertime fun. Taylor Ring explains. Though families and tourists alike have enjoyed the Newport Beach fire pits for decades, the City Council has unanimously decided to remove all 60 fire rings at Big Corona State Beach in Balboa. The decision was made based on safety concerns coming from polluted air, danger from hot embers, and child safety. I think, um, well there was a kid I heard in the news that fell into the pit, and now the mom's suing and I heard that's why they're taking shouldn't take them away because I mean, most people are okay with it. I think it's terrible. We come here for the beach pits. That's like, the reason we go to the beach. Yeah. Well, at least we do. Just for the drop fires. Just be smart about it. Yeah. Exactly. Local beachgoers are not in agreement with Newport Beach City Council's latest decision to remove all 62 of the beach's fire pits. This follows the decisions coming from Dana Point and Huntington Beach. At Big Corona, I'm Taylor Wing for Chapman News. The full council voted unanimously Tuesday to remove the 60 firings. Could take a while, the Coastal Commission still must okay. Newport's loss might be Huntington's gain. The beach there has over 160 fire rings. Well, that's all for this week's webisode. Thanks for watching and make sure to tune in to our next full broadcast, airing live every Friday at noon, with a replay Tuesday nights at 10 on Time Warner Channel 6, UVerse Channel 99. I'm Joan Park. And I'm Usman Mir. This has been Chapman News Online.